All right, and we're doing this again just to make it clear how simple it is to determine the meaning of the word day wherever you see it. In Matthew 4, 2, for example, we read that, and after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. So what's the meaning there? I mean, could, could the word day be substituted for the word time? Uh, well, no, it's talking about actual earth rotation days, right? Well, sure, that, that's easy. I mean, yeah. Let's it's, try it's another one. In the day that the Lord made the heavens and the earth, what does day mean there? Well, there has to be some sort of a meaning. It, it means time. Right? Yeah. In the time that the Lord made the heavens and the earth, referring to the entire period in which God created. All the confusion can be avoided by just applying the same hermeneutic, the same interpretive principle to every word. And that is, the particular meaning of a word that has multiple meanings is determined by its context. When Moses compiled the account of creation in Genesis 1 under the inspiration of God, he used the Hebrew word yom for day. He combined yom with numbers, first day, second day, third day, etc., right. yeah. and, and with the words evening and morning. Yeah, and the first time uh, the word day appears in Scripture is in verse 5 of chapter 1, and it appears twice, and it has a slightly different meaning both times. Let's have a look. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and there was evening and there was morning the first day. In the first instance, there's almost a definition. God called the light day. Right. It's the daylight portion of one earth rotation contrasted with the night portion. That's right. And in the second instance, from the context, the only meaning that it can have is that of an earth rotation day. From the text, you cannot make it say something other than a normal day of about 24 hours that we now experience. And if people simply interpret uh, the word in the same way that all other word meanings are interpreted, that should put an end to the controversy, controversy among Christians. Right.